My name is Samantha Backhouse, and I am a clinical neuropsychologist. I will never forget this story. One day, I was pulled into a very, very, very important meeting, and in front of me was sitting a gentleman who was very friendly, and he had a stack of files on a table, like yay big. I didn't really know what the meeting was about, but he proceeded to tell me about his daughter, Lisa. That was the day that life was never the same at RHI. Dr. Townley and his family helped change the course of the way that neural rehabilitation is run. I want to share a little bit about um, someone that's actually been through the Bix program. His name is Stuart, and both he and his wife Louise participated in Bix. So I'm Stuart Abramson. Um, I'm a, a father of three kids, husband to Louise. We've been married for 33 years yes. now. Um, I'm a nephrologist. I really like certain sports, um, biking and hiking and running. I like to be outside. My very first head injury did make it a little more difficult to remember names and to recognize people um, as compared to before that injury. So 2021, I had my second bicycle accident. I was pretty banged up and I needed, um, needed a short stay in the intensive care unit and I had a number of broken bones we could tell that his short-term memory was much worse than it had been. His word finding was off. And I was still at the point where I was getting better pretty quickly in terms of the physical aspects. So I really had a, okay, this is what we can do. I'm going to be all better in a number of months. Get back to work. Get back to work full time. I think it became more and more evident to me that the neuro recovery had a long way to go. During that time, we also um, started meeting with Dr. Backhouse and we also started Bix, the brain injury coping skills class, which was just incredible. Not only did we learn so much, but also we had a community that we met with and being part of a group with brain injury survivors and caregivers. That was very helpful to me. Before the Bix and going into the Bix was that I, the number of things I couldn't do and I was recognizing how much work I had to do to get them back and feeling pretty alone with that. That maybe no one had gone through this like I was and that was I gonna get was I gonna make progress? And that was a big part of Bix, is seeing, hearing the stories and how others actually had gone through it. And we're going through the recovery process. And it, it certainly gave me more hope to, to recover. But I think also it's that acceptance that it might not come back, but what you have and what you can work with um, is still valuable and that there's so much that you can still appreciate about what's going on in your life, even if it's not all good. RHI has been a continual support for us. The Dr. Lisa Thompson Center has provided us with programs that have enriched our lives, just what we need to take each day on, each as they come. You don't really know what you need and I felt I was just struggling and to have, you know, have these options, to have these things offered and to, yeah. to participate and say, you know, think, wow, I didn't even know I needed this or that it would be so helpful. It is remarkable how similar your story is to Dr. Lisa's story of being a physician and having an accident that is so devastating mm -hmm. since the second injury the support that we've gotten through the Dr. Lisa Thompson Fund, the skills and the coping skills, the Bix program, the community that we've been able to become engaged with, 
and the ongoing um, consideration of what other support families and survivors need has been so important and made such a difference in our lives.